Hello everybody, welcome to my Penny Go Boom. Uh, before I start here, please, if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to my channel and uh, go ahead and shoot me over some comments if you guys ever have any uh, stocks you guys want me to do a little analysis on. So today we're going to be looking at M-E-L-Y, that's microelectronics technology. And this is a stock that's in the Bitcoin uh, sector, uh, specifically uh, Bitcoin mining. So um, let's go ahead and clear my chart out here and let's start over. Okay, great. So first thing I want to do is here, I want to take a look at um, and see where we can find some supports currently. So the first thing that jumps out at me is I see right here, I see a nice support um, right here at 25. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my line across. Now before I also get going, I would like to say that each one of these candles represents uh, one day. So this is one day um, on the on the chart. So 25 here, um, the stock closed today at 20, uh, 0025, and you can see that it's acted as a support uh, for basically the past week or so um, after we made this big move. So a couple times, you know, it's tried to come down, but again, it's it's always settled out at 25. So this is um, this seems to be a good, nice amount of support. There's not a ton of volume right here, but uh, the volume that is there, this 25 does seem to be where the support is. So let's go ahead and make this green since that is our current support. And let's take a look at the next support down. Um, let's see here. The next one I see down here is probably right around 23. Um, as you can see, a couple times uh, the stock came up. That in the past, this acted as a resistance as it came up a couple times, almost for about a week straight or so. Um, it couldn't get over the 23, but once uh, we finally made that move, uh, 23 then became uh, support. And uh, again, the next one down I can see at this point would be, uh, let's see here, 21 would be another support. And if, I, if someone asked me, um, you know, what, what would need to happen, what was, you know, worst case scenario, what, what's the level that the stock absolutely needs to hold, um, I would say right here at 18. Um, the reason I say that is because you can see a couple times in the past, back here in April, the stock came down a few times at 18, broke once, twice, came back up, but it acted as support. And then again here on the May 21st, it came down and bounced right off of it. And again right here back in July, it came right to the 18 and bounced right back off again. So this 18 is a must, uh, is an absolute must hold level. So now that we have the supports uh, in place, let's take a look at some of the resistances. So the next resistance, uh, the first resistance I should say, that pops right up at me is very clear here at 0027. Uh, you can see, oop, there we go, sorry about that. You can see the stock in the past week has come up over 27 uh, once, came back down, kind of broke through it again, came back down, broke up again, came back down, and then the rest of the time it's came up and couldn't bust back over. So 27 seems to be the next main uh, area of resistance. And then after that, the next level of resistance I see, you know, I guess we could draw one at 29, but I don't want to clutter the chart up. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it at a, I'm going to go ahead and draw it at 31. Now you're saying, well, why are you going to th uh, draw it at 31? Well, a couple reasons. If you look back over here, then this area back in uh, back in May, you can see that 31 was the area that I had a hard time uh, going over. And if you look at this really big move here back in uh, this is May 2nd, when we had this really big move, right when it came over um, the 31 line, it came back up, and that's look like it looks like that's where the area of, uh, of resistance really was at 31. So again, right now it supports at 25, 27 is the next level, and there's a couple levels inside here, but really 31 is the next one I'm looking to see it break through. So let's go ahead and make this red since this is really the one that we need to go through. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other um, support levels and averages. This line right here, this uh, yellow lines, this is the 50-day simple moving average. You can see it has um, increased here, but then it has leveled off. Um, this always act, the 50-day moving average acts as a natural support, and the, right now the price action is above that 50-day, so that's good. And this red is the 200-day, which is uh, sloping down. However, the 50-day is um, up over the 200, so that's good. And for the more mid to short term, we have the five day in green here is above the purple line, which is the 10 day simple moving average. Now you can see when we have this nice move right here, the five really busted out over the 10. But then in the past couple of days, the five is kind of coming down, it's kind of leveling off, getting ready to maybe convert and uh, meet with the 10 day simple moving average. So this really, hopefully, going forward, this can continue to go up. 
and stay up over the 10 simple moving average. But what's going to make that happen, you might ask? It needs volume. Look at the volume. The volume's been very low. A lot of people might be watching this on the sidelines and haven't jumped in because many people may think this is a liquidity trap at this point because today there was only 18 million of volume. The day before it was 11 million, and the day before that was only 3 million. Um, as opposed to something like uh, back here in uh, May, May 2nd where this was 153 million volume on this nice big move. But it just goes to show with some nice volume, um, the stock really can move uh, at a pretty good pace. So again, um, let's take a look at the MACD. Oh, that's the volume. MACD. All right. So the stock, you see when we made this nice little move here, when it broke out, you want to be above the zero line. And it, it has done so the past week. We are above the zero line. But again, it's starting to kind of flatten out a little bit here. And it kind of represents the, the price action, what's happening, a little bit flat. Uh, volume kind of breaking down. So in order for this to remain healthy and look good, we need to get some volume going in the right direction on the ask. So again, um, it's still intact, the MACD. But again, volume is really very critical here. And one more uh, trend line we can draw here. Let's draw a little pattern. Let's take the uh, highest or here low, and let's draw it right through this line. So if I draw this line straight through, you can see how um, this line will act as a resistance. So I drew it from here through this line all the way through. And if you look at the oh, let me you know what that wasn't very uh, that wasn't very accurate. Let's see. There we go. So you came right through this line. Now look what happens when it came through that line. Oh, look at that. When the stock came up, it, this acted just as a resistance. So this is the, another resistance line. This needs to break out with some nice volume above for this really to go and continue its uptrend. And let's draw on the, on, the res, on the support side. Let's go from, let's take it from here through right there. Okay. So again, this is right. Basically, this is a, this meets right over here, right where the 200-day simple moving average is. So this is again, this could be also a support level. So you can see here that right now, um, this chart is kind of it's in between the pattern here. As the day goes on, as the time goes, each day goes on, uh, we really need to break out through this pattern to see uh, what's really gonna what's gonna really go here. So again, this is the technical analysis for MELY. Again, this is a really hot one. Uh, this sector is getting kind of warmed up. For the Bitcoin, there seems to be a lot more companies uh, who just basically recently announced that they're going to be taking Bitcoin's payments. Uh, you know, Google, uh, Dell just came out recently saying they're going to be doing it. There was a big conference in Chicago over this past weekend. Uh, so there's really a lot of eyes on Bitcoin um, as another form of uh, as a form of digital currency. But uh, I think it's still a lot of it is still in its uh, infancy. MELY basically deals more in the Bitcoin mining pool specifically. Uh, recently, they are just announced that they have their hundred servers, which come online for they're doing some testing. And I think people are waiting to hear from the company to see what's really going to happen um, going forward with more servers and uh, revenues and bitcoins and all that good fun stuff that makes people get all pumped and bashed on. So again, everyone, MELY. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it. Uh, subscribe to my um, YouTube channel, and if you have any comments please leave them or if you have any other stocks you'd like me to take a look at please uh, go ahead and contact me and also follow us on twitter at mypennygoboom thank you so much